The white-tailed deer are the state mammal of Illinois, but unfortunately they are ruining our forest health. So maybe we should pick a new state mammal. The definition of a healthy forest is a forest that has the ability to tend current and future needs of people for values, products, and services. Forest health determines how well forests in Illinois can meet the needs of the wildlife living there. In 2010, it was reported that there were 800,000 deers found in Chicago. Browsing is when an animal will nibble off the plants around them. The white-tailed deer are known to do large amounts of browsing taking off twigs, leaves, and shrubs off of many of trees. Obviously, this becomes very harmful to trees as time goes on. Another thing that is important to note about the deers is that it can also eat fungi if it can obtain it. Since fungi can decompose the abiotic factors of the wilderness, which are the non-living components of the forest, and if the deers are eating this fungi, essential nutrients for growth will not be able to be produced. These animals inhabit Illinois wildlife one of those places being the North Park Nature Center. The North Park Nature Center was once the Chicago Municipal Tuberculosis Sanitarium. In 1980, after plans to raise the land and construct strip malls and condominiums, the community rallied to preserve the natural organisms that inhabited the area. And on April 1, 2004, the Nature Center became part of the Chicago Park District in Illinois. For one of our class field trips, we went to the North Park Nature Center. Here are some pictures from it. Our tour guide for this trip was Robert Porter, an educator at the North Park Nature Center, and the person that I went to to explain the deer crisis. The other big one here is deer, and I know everyone loves Bambi. We all <laughs> love Bambi, but when Bambi's numbers are about 20 times higher than they should be. Bambi eats a lot, and so plants are the bottom of the food chain, right? So if all the plants disappear, there goes all the insects and the birds and the small mammals and the large mammals and everything above it, because that's the beginning of everything is the plants. So, and deer eat a lot of it. And um, scientists generally that do a whole lot of research on deer in big natural areas like national parks all the way down to Park districts will say that, and some have researched just plants disappearing, or some have researched ground nesting birds that need the plants that surround them, and some have researched insects. And when they're all done with their research, in many, if not most of the cases, they'll say about 10 to 20 deer per square mile is what's considered sustainable. Okay, now to bring it back to science class. The amount of plants and living organisms that the deers are eating has a direct effect on the trophic levels of the environment. Trophic levels are the feeding positions in a food chain or web. By the way, all organisms, including the deer, abide by the 10% rule. The 10% rule is the rule when the predator only gains about 10% of the prey's energy. The 10% pyramid affects leads to lower populations of upper trophic level predators. I'm sure most people at Parker don't like the idea of hunting, but here are some cold facts about it. Hunting can be done in the way of archery, youth firearm, or muzzle loader only when you are hunting deer. Illinois hunters harvested up to 145,804 deer this past 2014-2015 season. In this picture, you can see the prevalence of hunting in Illinois. Notice how there is a small minority of areas that have 0 to 1,000 deers harvested. These white-tailed deers are beautiful animals and are state mammal, but they are preventing our forest health from being the best it can be. So I leave you with these questions that local nature preservers like Robert Porter have to think about every day. How do we improve our forest health? And in what ways that are less harmful to the white-tailed deer? And if deers are eating all of the food that soon become limiting factors for the other organisms in the forest, how do we stop deers from eating the food?